Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick guide to using the Detour Crowd Manager in Unreal Engine. I'll explain how it works, show you how to set it up, and show you how to customize the way your crowd moves around. Alright, so here I have a bunch of characters all being controlled using AI controllers and doing pathfinding with a built-in navigation system. I set up a situation where two groups of AI want to move past each other but can't. So this is a good example of where you could use the Detour Crowd Manager. The Detour Crowd Manager finds alternate paths on the navigation mesh for each agent to take so that they can avoid each other. Normally, the AI controller has something called a path following component. This component is responsible for moving the AI along the path that the navigation system gives it. But to get the AI controller working with the Detour Crowd Manager, it needs something called a crowd following component. The crowd following component extends the path following component, so it has the same responsibility of moving the AI along a path. Only the crowd following component makes slight changes to the path so that the agents can avoid each other. It does this by registering itself with the crowd manager. The crowd manager is the class that keeps track of all the agents in the crowd and calculates the path that each agent should take. So first let's take a look at how we can enable the system. As I mentioned earlier, to get an AI controller working with the crowd manager, it needs to have a crowd following component. You can't directly add the component to your AI controller blueprints, so we're going to have to add it to a C++ class that extends the AI controller and then reparent your blueprint to use this class instead. Now Unreal Engine already has a class that does this for you called Detour Crowd AI Controller. If we take a look at this class, you can see that it extends the AI controller and all it does is define a new constructor. This constructor overrides the path following component from the AI controller so that it's a crowd following component in the Detour Crowd AI Controller. So, if we want to use the Detour Crowd Manager, all we need to do is reparent our AI Controller Blueprints to use the Detour Crowd AI Controller instead. To do this, open up your AI Controller Blueprint and go to Class Settings, and then Class Options, and then search for it under Parent Class. Once you reparent, you can hover over the Path Following component and see that now it's changed to a Crowd Following component. So now that we have the Crowd Following component on our Blueprint, if we go to our level and play, you can see that now our AI are avoiding each other. Now adding a crowd following component by reparenting to the Detour Crowd AI controller is super easy and it works, but it actually has a pretty big downside. The crowd following component comes with a whole bunch of useful methods, but the problem is that none of them are blueprint callable, so they're only accessible through C++. Since the Detour Crowd AI controller is part of the Unreal Engine source code, you can't change it unless you're compiling the engine yourself, so we're kind of stuck. We need to call crowd following component methods if we want to get the most out of the detour crowd system, but we can't use the detour crowd AI controller to do that. So to get around this, we're going to make our own C++ class that does the same thing as the detour crowd AI controller, only now we're going to be able to make changes to it. That way we can get a reference to the crowd following component and all of its methods. To make the C++ class, we can go to tools, new C++ class. From there, we can search for AI controller and then rename the class to whatever you want. Once you have it open in your IDE, you can copy the following code to your header file and your CPP file. Don't forget to include the header for the crowd following component and replace custom AI controller with whatever you named your class. Once you compiled, you can go back to your AI controller blueprint and reparent it as we did before, but this time to your custom class instead. Now if we play, we can see that our AI is still working with the Detour Crowd Manager, but now we have the C++ class that we can use to call methods from the crowd following component. Now let's try it out. In your header file, define a begin play, and then in your CPP file, add the implementation. Here we'll get a reference to the crowd following component using find component by class and check if it's valid. Next, we can call any crowd following component methods we want. Here I'm calling a few to make the crowd space out a bit more. If we compile this in play, you can see that the crowd is a little more separated. Here's a side by side comparison. Now of course this is just a demonstration and you can change parameters as you see fit, but the key takeaway here is that now you're able to call crowd following component methods. Now the next thing I want to show you guys is how to change the avoidance config so that you can customize the way your crowd moves around. To do this you can go to project settings and then crowd manager. Here you can find global settings for the crowd manager, one of which is the avoidance config. The avoidance config has different weights and biases that you can tune to change the way your crowd agents steer. For example, if I change the side bias weight from 0.75 to 2, you can see it has an effect on how they avoid each other. Now finding the right values for each weight and bias can be tricky, but I would recommend just experimenting with these values until you get a result that you're happy with. Now you might be wondering why the avoidance config has four lists. These lists correspond to different avoidance quality settings. Index 0 is the low setting, 1 is medium, 2 is good, and 3 is high. By default, each AI agent will be using the low avoidance quality, but you can change which avoidance quality your agents are using by calling the crowd following component method called set crowd avoidance quality. 
Just remember that if you're changing the low avoidance quality, but your agents are set to medium, then the changes you make won't have any effect. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you found it useful, consider leaving a like, and I'll see you next time.